Alright, welcome back boys and girls. Today we're going to look at a story called Living in Mexico. This is for our first through fifth grade students and it is a ready to learn book. The information contained inside of this is going to be more informative. That means fact based and not make believe. Everything you see in here is going to be real. Hola! Say, oh, la. That means hi in Spanish. My name is Rosa, and I live in Mexico. Mexico is a country in North America where more than 120 million people live, including me. Mexico is a beautiful country. Many people come here to visit the pretty beaches and deserts or to hike in the rainforests and mountains. And then here's some of the names in the places in Mexico. See, there's mountains and deserts and beaches and rainforests. The weather in Mexico is very different from place to place. Near the ocean and rainforest, the weather is hot and humid. In the mountains and on the plateau, the weather is dry and mild. Mexico has two big deserts in the north. The deserts are home to many plants and animals, such as roadrunners, mountain lions, and cactuses that can grow up to 60 feet tall. If you ever saw a 60 foot tall cactus, what do you think you would do? Two mountain ranges run down Mexico's east and west sides. Between the mountains is the Mexican Plateau. Many people live on the plateau. A plateau is a flat mountain. Mexico's capital, Mexico City, is on the plateau. It was, in, it was built on... Guadalajara it holds a yearly festival for a special kind of Mexican music called mariachi. Cancun has some of the best beaches in the world. Oaxaca is home to colorful festival and festivals and folk art. I live in La Paz, a city on the Baja, California Peninsula of Mexico. I live with my dad, brother, and sister. My parents work for a sailing company. They take people on sailboats to see the gray whales. I love watching the whales. I want to study whales when I grow up. Every morning I get ready for school. I brush my teeth and put on my school uniform. Similar to what you guys do. Then I comb my hair neatly. In Mexico, it's important to look clean and neat for school. It's important here, too. For breakfast, we eat fried eggs, beans, and sauce on tortillas. A tortilla is a round, flat piece of... After breakfast, my mom... My brother and sister go to a school for younger kids. I put my things away and talk to my friends about our reports. We are learning about archaeology, which is the study of ancient cultures. There are many places in Mexico where the remains of ancient cities still stand. School starts at 8 o'clock each morning. The first half of the day is taught in Spanish. After snack time, we are taught in English. I speak both languages. Our first lesson in Spanish is about Mexico's history. 10,000 years ago, people in the region started coming together to farm the land. In 1500 BCE, the Olmec people began growing many things we have today, such as corn, beans, and cotton. Around 600 BCE, the Olmec split into two different groups, one of which was the Mayans. Between 1325 CE and 1519 CE, the Aztec people conquered many groups and brought them together. The Aztecs built pyramids and temples and created jewelry and art and lived in huge cities.
we clean up. My brother, sister, and I go to our programs. In Mexico, many kids attend after school programs while their parents work. My little brother and sister for older kids. We're, we're learning about Diego Rivera and Paolo, famous Mexican artist from the 1900s. I help my mom make a special bread. We will eat it at the parade tomorrow. My brother and sister put up pretty paper banners to decorate the house for the holiday. Dinner time. In Mexico, dinner is usually a light meal. Tonight we're having chilled avocado soup. Before, I bed, before bed, I read my book about whales, fish, and dolphins around the world. Someday, I'm going to sail to different countries and see them. Would you like to visit Mexico someday? And then here's some facts about Mexico. It says all about Mexico. United States, United Mexican States, or Mexico for sure, short. The population is 122 million. The capital is Mexico City. The language they speak is primarily Spanish, though the government recognizes 68 indigenous languages, including the various ones there. The total area, there's the government. The currency is the peso. Here's a fun fact. Chocolate originated in Mexico roughly 4,000 years ago. Starting around 1900 BCE, ancient people living in Mexico ground cacao beans down and added them to a mix of vanilla, honey, chili peppers, and water. The result was the first hot chocolate, a special drink reserved for rulers, wealthy nobles, and warriors. All right, let's look at the lesson that goes with this. When we meet with each other, my virtual students, we will meet in a Zoom meeting to discuss. And for my A and B students, when we meet, it'll be on the hybrid day that you're here. I want you to be prepared to discuss how your character with, that you created with the superpower from week one might interact with this story and how, with Rosa. The vocab for the story says to write or draw a picture to define each term. There are six of them. We have colony, peninsula, Pyramid, Conquer, Plateau, and Temple. Here's the critical thinking part. Answer the question as completely as possible. Today we're looking at cultural heritage. I want you to think of your favorite meal from your culture. Then draw a picture and write a yummy description of it so that we will all want to eat it. If you haven't already, go ahead and click that like and subscribe video or like and subscribe button and we will see you next video.